Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. You take a look at the 76ers. Holding on to second spot in the conference. A great season for them so far. And, of course, Washington just way behind. Well, right now for the 76ers, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. Even though some people doubted them, there are just as many people, if not more, who believed in this team from the very beginning. And it's pretty clear right now who was right. Well, look at the 76ers starting group. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Axie out there with Buddy Heald, and it's Oubre in at the three slot. And for Washington, in the backcourt, it's Jones and Poole. And at the forward positions, Avdia and Kuzma. And it's Bagley in at the center, locking down the middle. Here we go. And in the NBA, Richard, the front court positions more than any other, evolving quite a bit in recent years. Yeah, more versatility is required now than ever before. And both of these teams are loaded with talent in their front court. This should be an exciting watch. Look at Heald's unselfish approach. He's working to find everyone a look, not just himself. Crosses it to Jones. To the middle. And Kuzma slams it in. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. You'll take it. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. That's to Avdia. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Jones, the pass to Bagley. Five to shoot. Nailed from three-point land. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Embiid with a screen on Jones. Oubre outside. Pass to Embiid. Over Bagley. Embiid, no good. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. You got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Now, here's Maxi. A really disappointing game for him in that loss to Atlanta. Embiid's gone one of three shooting so far. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Bagley kicks to Poole. And the rejection by Embiid. Love to see Embiid swatting down shots, taking advantage of his size and frame. Kicks it out to Maxi. Good. And Harris gets the assist. I know what they say, defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. There's the pass to Kuzma. Outside, Jones. Cool on the wing. The Wizards with another miss. The 76ers leading by three. Greg, it seems like the Wizards have been trying to find their edge against tough teams. Yeah, and the first question is, which end does it happen on, offense or defense? Because you can win tough games by being great at either. Here's Bagley following the basket by Buddy Heal. Oubre with it. Jones covering. And the foul called on Tyus Jones. That's his first foul. Maxi against Jones. High post, Embiid. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. 
And when you look at the moves that Embiid has in the mid-range, he moves like a guard out there. He studies film of Kobe and Jordan. Look, it shows up when you watch his footwork. It's amazing to see someone his size move so fluid. First one falls. And Richard, with Joel Embiid, his combination of physical dominance and skill, it's almost unfair. Yeah, he's a 300-pound guy with the agility of a wing. That is not fun to guard. He can bully you or beat you with finesse. There's really no weakness in his game, Greg. And Embiid drops them both. Richard, the year before you entered the league in 2001, the Sixers made the NBA Finals and haven't since. Yeah, I just love watching Allen Iverson that season. Won the MVP, averaged 31 points per game, almost 20 more points than any of his teammates. He was the offensive firepower every single night. Now here's Jones. He has yet to score. All going up court. That one falls. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Yeah, that's nice execution. Running with purpose and creating an easy scoring opportunity off the break. Here's Bagley. His last outing, he had eight points. Pool on the wing. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. High post, and B. Dunk by Embiid. Hammering the offensive glass. Embiid putting that big size to use. Wizards trail by nine. Cool a screen on Oubre. Abdia dishes to Bagley. Passes to Kuzma. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. It's such a determined score. When challenging the defense, Kuzma won't take no for an answer. The Wizards shooting their first free throw of the evening. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. And, Greg, it just seems like every night, Kyle Kuzma is going to put up double digits. And he has the potential to be a double-double threat. Just needs to get more aggressive on the glass. Now, here's Maxi. He's got five. Bagley with the rebound. Yeah, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. Maxi against Jones. Harris outside. And Bede sets the pick for Harris. Offline with his three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Avdia, the pass to Jones. Kuzma, outside. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. And tonight, I expect them to play better offensively. Try to get some closer looks. And Embiid throws it down. Get out of that man's way. Embiid throwing down that power finish. And it's Bagley at the elbow. Ask a pool. Puts it up. Drops one in from the wing. Poole's got his second bucket of the game to go. And so it's Maxey who brings up the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Six-point lead. Oubre outside. Javier with it. Now defended by Oubre. Oubre with the steal. And there's the feed to Harris. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Harris has got his second bucket of the night. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the 76ers. From the tip, they are not making things easy on them. Lots of steals playing disruptive basketball. 
And another thing, guys, they've been very active tonight, frequently creating scoring opportunities off turnover. Here's Kuzma. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. Right on the clock. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And while we got a chance, let's look at some numbers for Kyle Kuzma. Averaging 17 points per game, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists. Uh, to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. He's someone you can rely on to bring it on a nightly basis. When they need a basket, he's the guy they turn to. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Already his second foul. He's in danger of getting into serious foul trouble early in this game. Wizards making a switch here. Gills checked in. And then for Philadelphia. All reads checked in for Harris. Batum comes in for Oubre. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Maxi. Now here's Jones. Still yet to score. Here's Avgia. And it's Reed pulling it down. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Wizards trail by eight. To the paint. Here's Gill. Kicks it out to Jones. Gill against Reed. Pass to Avdia. Over Batum. Avdia gets the bucket. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Heald finds Embiid. Tries from the block. Jump shot is good. Embiid's got 10. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. The pass to Gill. Pass to Avdia. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. And they'll keep possession. Jones from outside. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Now, here's Melton. Still scoreless. Here's Embiid. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5-for-8 clip. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Gill with a screen on Batum. Pass to Gill. Outside, Jones. Now, here's Avdia. Defended by Batum. We are in the middle of a long season now, Richard. Guys are trying to play with energy every night. But, boy, you can just see it. It is tough. Yeah, these are the dog days right here. There's a certain energy to start the season and the stretch run. In between all that, though, that's where the mental toughness to stay focused is so important. And the best teams have it. And free throw, good from Avdia. So GA, the Wizards, with their trades over the summer, they have definitely hit the reset button for a rebuild. Yeah, and moved on from Beal and traded Porzingis as well. So kept Kuzma and brought in Poole to start the youth movement. Exciting times for the Wizards. And they're great at both ends, but the Sixers offense, Greg, the Sixers offense is elite. And it all starts with Joel Embiid feasting inside and at the free throw line. And his teammates reap the benefits as well with wide open shots on the brim. Now, Avdia, after the missed three from Buddy Heald, just five to shoot. Pass to Avdia. It's deflected. And on defense, Batum uses that wingspan well, creates solid coverage. Heald can't hit. Looked like he just rusted there. Just maybe take a little bit more time in the future. The basket pool. Here's Gill. Now, Avdia. 24-point outing in their last game against the Celtics in Boston. 
He's more than chipped in on the glass as well. Just a tremendous effort last time out. Well, that's the kind of toughness Bagley needs to show timeout, timeout. on every possession. Shake off the contact and All finish right. through. Timeout called the 76ers. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Here's what Washington's going with right now. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Marvin Bagley. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Avdia. And Kispert subbed in for Jordan Poole. Philadelphia also making some changes. Bamba comes in for Embiid. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Heal. One forty-four left to play in the first. Now here is Lowry. Not a lot of room. Driving in. Reed misses. Wizards trail by seven. Shamit with it. Lowry picks him up. And Holmes throws it down. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Now here is Lowry. He's covered by Shamit. Lowry, good. And he is an elite-level decision-maker. Lowry understands when to pass out of that pick-and-roll and when to shoot. Now, here's Shamit. No scoring in this one. Holmes kicks to Kispert. Nice ball movement by Washington. Kuzma outside. Lock at six. From deep. And Bamba pulls it down. With that sixth overall pick in 2018, Mo Bamba hasn't been a star, but is there some untapped potential? I think so. You've got a shot blocker who can also space the floor from beyond the arc. That's a pretty good foundation to build on, Greg. The 76ers leading by eight. Here's Melton. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Kicks to Bamba. This one for three. Rebound by the Wizards. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And here is Shamit. Rob. Milton with the ball. Batum wide open. He fires. Hits it from three-point range. And the 76ers lead by 11. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. 76ers lead by 11. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Guys, 76ers pretty much in control here, it would seem. Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. You can't overstate how much interior defense can shape the game. They have a distinct advantage there, and they have turned it into a lead. Here's Shamit. Still without a basket. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, in at the guard spots, Maxi and Milton. <laughs> Muhammad Bamba is out there with Reed. And it's Batum in at the three, the small forward. And sports may be the ultimate meritocracy. Uh, does it matter where you're from, uh, Greg, your background? Uh, you got to have game, right? Kevin, it's a beautiful thing. Some players grew up with a father in the NBA. Others were a world away. Either way, when you get here, 
you know you've earned it. Gill hits them both. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia. And the last time they faced this club, rebounding was their big advantage. Reed a screen. Melton passes to Reed. Rebounded by Holmes. Wizards trail by nine. He kicks it to Kispert. Reed against Gill. The Wizards need to get a shot off here. Offensive rebound. Philadelphia leading by nine. Here's Batum. And he banks in the layup. Batum's got five now. And a high percentage look there is what Batum was after. He, he goes inside and makes it happen. Passes it to Gill. Batum against Kuzma. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Bamba setting the pick for Maxi from 11 feet away. And the 76ers tack on two more. Capitalizing from the mid-range. Maxi just taking what he sees and making it available. Shamit the pass to Holmes. Shamit with it. Bamba picks him up. Pass to Gill. Shoots the three. That's good. And the 76ers lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Kuzma. And as long as Kuzma is able to hit jumpers, he's going to have a place in this league and cash a few paychecks. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. As ever, Joel Embiid has the pressure on him to be the franchise player. He said it's not an easy job. If it was easy, everybody would do it. When you're actually the best offensive player and the best defensive player, you got to make plays. You can't be perfect. All I can do is try to do my best every game. Kevin? Well said. His best DA is pretty great, isn't it? Thank you so much for the report. Now, here's Maxi. Seven points in the game. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. And good that time. And it's a 12-point Philadelphia lead. And the closer to the basket Bamba is, the more effective he is. Outstanding at using his size inside. Bamba against Kuzma. And it's Kispert in the corner. And the Wizards hit again from deep. And yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Now, here's Maxi. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Melton feeling it out a bit, and he slams it one-handed. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot, but when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. You'll take it. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. For the Wizards, Avdia comes in for Gill. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Landry Shamit. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Oubre's checked in. Wizards trail by 11. Jones the pass to Holmes. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Paul Reed. That's foul number two for him. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Jones kicks to Kispert. Shot clock at six. Kuzma. 
And part of the longevity of Batum's career is that his game translates to these times. The case in point, the versatility defensively. In the corner, Reed with it. Outside, Maxi. Over Kispert. Second chance effort. A nice shot by Reed. Reed's got the lead up to 13 now for the 76ers. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Jones with the bounce pass. Kuzma against Batum. Kuzma kicks to Kispert. Launches a three. The Wizards with another miss. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. This is the most they've led by 13 points. Pass to Reed. And here's Maxi. And there's the pass to Melton. Launches it from deep. Rebound, Washington. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. I mean, they went into that one with the thought that they may have a chance. Uh, no. You don't see a lot of blowouts in the NBA, so you're surprised whenever you see a lopsided score. The Wizards have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. And, Greg, while the Sixers have been effect time and again, they've been unable to get past the conference semifinals where they bow down in five of the last six years but you go back they haven't made it any further since Allen Iverson led them to the finals back at 01 catching up on the changes for Philadelphia Joel Embiid comes in for Nicholas Batum and Heald subbed in for DeAnthony Melton now here's Heald he's coming off a 16 point game against Atlanta here's Embiid rebounded by the Wizards Avdiev's got four rebounds now tonight. Passes it to Jones. Kuzma with a screen on Maxi. Jones kicks to Holmes. Now Avdia. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Overhealed. The Wizards with another miss. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Oubre passes to Maxi. Here's Embiid. Nice follow through on the fadeaway. 14 points for Joel Embiid. And shooting wise, he's been fantastic, helping to build this lead. Holmes with a screen on Maxi. Pass to Holmes. Back to Jones. Top of the key, Avdia. Here's Kuzma. And another miss by Washington. Philadelphia leading by 13. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. That three off the mark. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Jones kicks to Kispert. Out to Kuzma. No oh, good with the triple. Just a enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Three-pointer heel. Rebounded by the Wizards. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Pass to Avdia. Out to Kuzma. The shot is good off the backboard. That's 12 points for Kyle Kuzma. And this is what Kuzma can do. When he's got it going, you've got to keep getting him opportunities. Maxi against Jones to the inside. And the dunk by Reed. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Now here's Jones. 11 points for him in that last game against the Celtics in Boston. Kispert wide open. He fires. Good on the three-point shot. Kispert's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Wizards. Maxi against Jones. Maxi passes to Ubre. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Wizards trail by 10. Jones looking for an opening. Over in the corner, Avdia. 
And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists now in this one. For Philadelphia, they've gone 8 of 15 since we began the second quarter. Excellent shooting. Here's MB. 23 points for him the last game against Atlanta. And he was also went to town on the glass and posed his will, chasing down misses all game long. Washington with the rebound. Avdiev's got six rebounds in the game. And it's Kispert in the corner. Overhealed. Kispert, no good. Philadelphia leading by seven. Maxi passes to Uber. And finished off by Uber. Heads up on the money pass by Maxi. Great vision. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. They can look forward to the American Airlines Center after this game. They'll match up against Dallas. It sets in motion a four-game road trip for him. Here's Avdia. So a moment now to see the story for Tobias Harris. And the one thing that he'll be looking to change is the downturn in his three-point percentage. It's taken a hit here the last 10 games. I know he's putting in extra work to get that rhythm back. Bagley, he's checked in for Washington. Poole comes in for Kispert. Tobias Harris has checked in for the 76ers. Philadelphia's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. Embiid with a screen on Jones. Maxi kicks to heel. Embiid sets the pick for heel. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Poole gets it to go. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Maxi against Jones. Embiid with a screen on Jones. And the pass to heel from downtown. Drains it from beyond the arc. Heald's got his second basket of the night. Heald showing his quick release. Wizards trail by nine. There's a minute 40 left to play in the first half. Here's Jones. Three-pointer Bagley. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Pass to Maxi. To the right side. Bagley against Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Embiid absorbs the contact on the finish. So much strength from Embiid. It would take a special defender to slow him down. Avdia, the pass to Bagley. Jones against Maxi. Jones, no luck. The 76ers leading by 11. On the wing, heel. And the three off target. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Pass to Jones. Back to Kuzma. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Kuzma's got 14. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Maxi attacking. Rebounded by the Wizards. Kuzma's got five rebounds tonight. Jones in the post. He's covered by Maxi. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And the teams are going to... The previous play is under the Monitor and see if he got that shot off in time. And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The replay leaving little doubt. the review, the ruling on four is overturned. 
And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Joel, you've got the lead, so how do you build on that as the game continues? Uh, just keep being, uh, being aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and making plays. Hey, they always build off of their defense here. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Welcome in for halftime. And what's on tap, you ask? I can answer that. So far, it's been a nice outing for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've come away with easy buckets in transition, really pushing the tempo every chance they get, keeping the D on his heels. An aggressive approach that's been working all night. Okay, and now let's check out the power rankings as we move through the middle of the season. Looking at Philadelphia, they are still a top team, but a small downgrade in their ranking. No cause for alarm. A lot of games left to play. So you're saying no need for the panic button or the panic room? Just stay chill? Am I close? Yep. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Joel Embiid has been sensational. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. And at the forward positions, Avdia and Kuzma. In the backcourt, it's Jones and Poole. And it's Bagley in at the center. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. And here's Field. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Nine-point game. Pass to Oubre. He dishes it to Harris. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Baseline J on the way. And there's MB. That's good on the assist from Harris. Harris has got his third assist on the night. And here's Jones. Kuzma outside. Jones sets the pick for Kuzma. The kick out to Poole. Good D by Heal. The 76ers leading by 11. And Richard, I tell you what, Jordan Poole has become one heck of an NBA player. A star, if you will. Goes to show that you don't have to be a high recruit coming out of high school. He barely snuck in the top 100 list. Now, here's Maxi. He has seven, hands it from downtown. Maxi's got 10. The pure shooting stroke of Maxi gifted at draining it from outside the arc. The pass to Bagley. Now, here's Poole. Bagley with a screen on heel. Poole, the pass to Bagley. He gets it in there. Bagley's got his third basket of the night. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Maxi with it. Ten points for him. Here's Embiid. Kuzma pulls it in. Wizards trail by 12. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. 
Thank you, Kevin. Now, what's going to enable the retooled Wizards to take the next step? Coach Wes Unsell Jr. said, I think the biggest thing is the fit. A better fit helps the competitive spirit, the connectivity, and guys get the big picture. But the most important thing is winning. Kevin, he thinks that mindset is starting to take hold. I think it is. Building that culture is so important. David, thanks. No question, he got bumped on that shot. This is his first trip to the line tonight. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. Wizards trail by 14. Outside, Jones. Harris against Kuzma. Agley with his screen on Harris. It's Kuzma penetrating. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. That'll put Kyle Kuzma on the line. That one on Embiid. The Wizards have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. He throw good, Kuzma. And the edge Kuzma plays with is terrific. A, a tough, versatile player who plays with a real hunger to keep getting better. Now here's MB. 20 points for him. Healed outside. Five on the clock. Maxi. And another shot. The big man MB converts inside. Yeah, Embiid is getting everything he wants on the offensive side. He's playing some aggressive basketball right now. Passes it to Avdia. Back to Poole. And Embiid with the block. And they're able to recover. It's good. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And Philadelphia calls time here. And a chance here to check out some stats for Abdia. He's playing well this season, averaging 13 points per game, eight rebounds, and three assists. And what a force he is on the glass. Just inhales rebounds. And he can go around his opponent, over his opponent, through his opponent. A true triple threat. And it's the 76ers with the ball. They've led by as many as 14 points. Their next game is in Cleveland, taking on the Cavaliers. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Now here's MB. He's got 22. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Kuzma outside. Six to shoot. Has to pull. Here's the three. Trains the three-pointer. Poole's got nine. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Maxi against Jones. Now here is Harris. He has five. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Outside, Jones. Outside, Bagley. There's the dish to Abdiya. 
and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Kelly Oubre. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the 76ers. Oh, I absolutely love seeing them use their big men like this. They clearly have trust in them, and so far, look, they've been delivering. Uh, another place they've had the upper hand tonight is in transition. They've gotten a bunch of their points off the fast break. And Philadelphia making a change here. Melton's checked in. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And it's Maxi with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. They lead by seven. Good opportunity for Harris to get something in the open floor where he can use his athleticism. Now here's Jones. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Avdia with it, guarded by Harris. Avdia dishes to Jones. Down low, it's tipped. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. Well, most coaches will tell you, you need scoring in the paint to be successful. Here are some big men around the league that have been providing plenty of that over the last month. Number one is Joel Embiid. He is so polished offensively in the low post. I mean, even when the defense collapses, he's got guys all around, and he finds a way to put the ball in the basket. The 76ers leading by nine. Here's Maxi. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Jones, the pass to Avdia. Jones with the screen on Ubre. Avdia kicks to Jones. Offline with the baseline jumper. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. Pass to Oubre. Fires from deep. Buries it from three-point range. Oubre's got five points now this quarter. Really in a good Started. position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Washington calls timeout. Gill is checked in for the Wizards. All right, a moment to check out stats for Embiid. He's been on a remarkable tear this past month. And, of course, rim protection always at a premium. That's an important part of his game. Top 20 in blocks per. And he's so explosive, so hungry. You really can't keep him off the glass when he wants to get there. That's why he's top five in rebounding. Now here's Jones. Now the pass to Avdia. Here's Poole. Launches it. That's good. He's five for nine. What are you doing? You can't give a player like him that much space. Come on now. Maxi looking it over. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. For the three. Bagley with the rebound. Bagley's got four rebounds in this game. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. Passes to Poole. Back to Jones from the arc. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. A, a legitimate sniper from distance. Love seeing Oubre Jr. shoot it with such precision. Jones, the pass to Bagley. Out to the wing. Here's Gill. No good from outside. Philadelphia leading by 12. Oubre for three. Bagley with the rebound. Bagley's got rebound number five here tonight. Cool with it. Maxi covering, and he's able to get it back. Now, Avdia. Ten points for him. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. 
Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. All reads checked in for MB. It's the 76ers with the ball. They've led by as many as 14 points. Reed a screen on Jones. Maxi, no good. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Now, here's Avdia. 13 points in the game. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Maxi against Jones. Here's Reed. Reed a screen on Gill. Here's Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. Drops it in from 11 feet. Harris has got four points now in the quarter. And he's always been a mid-range specialist. Harris has a great sense of when to take those pull-ups. To the wing on the left. Poole on the wing. He's guarded by Melton. Avdia, the pass to Gill. Some solid defense from Harris. And it's Harris with the ball for the 76ers. Nine-point game. Maxi, no good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. And we saw this from Bagley in college. He has very good touch around the rim. Here's Maxi, And it's off from three-point range. Washington's gone 2 of 5 with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Outside, Begley. A three-pointer, no good. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Maxi kicks to Melton. We've got 155 left to play here in the third. Jones against Oubre. The 76ers need to get off a shot. And the dunk by Reed and just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Gill with a screen on Oubre. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have to jump off. And now, Philadelphia on the break. Here's Melton. That one off the back iron and out. Wizards trail by nine. Jones the pass to Bagley. Now Poole. For Washington, they have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. That's good from Poole. For the Wizards, Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Bagley. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Avdia. And Landry Shamit subbed in for Tyus Jones. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. 105 left to play in the third. Maxi kicks to Uber. To Maxi. Pass to Harris. Lock at six. From outside the arc, makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. His first triple of the second half. Can he get it going? 40 seconds left in the third. Shamit finds Kuzma. Over in the corner, Poole. 
and they wasted no time getting those three points back. Poole's got 11 points here in just the second half. Outside, Maxi. Kuzma against Ubre. Harris, right side. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Poole against Harris. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Harris is about as consistent as it gets. One second left. That shot, no good. And so it's Philadelphia in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. Back right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. I feel like we've seen more slick passing big man in the league today than we've ever seen. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Well, 76ers leading by eight. Taking a look at the 76ers. We've got DeAnthony Melton. Read out there with Batum. Then there's Lowry. And it's Bamba in at the five. Roaming the paint. Wizard shooting at 46%. Making some buckets. Pass to Kisbert. Reed with the steal. Kicks to Batum. And Corey Kispert is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. On defense, the Wizards trailing here by eight. The pass to Bamba. Plenty of space. And he makes that one. Bamba's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Philadelphia. And Washington has possession. Shamit the pass to Holmes. This is to Kispert. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you can give up some size, but that shows you how fearless he is. Willing to attack the basket no matter who is in front of him. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. Passes it to Bamba. He kicks it to Lowry. Shoots over Shamit. And that one goes long. Wizards trail by eight. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. They set the pick. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Monday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And then on Wednesday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. And you know for that Knicks game, 
that's going to be one where it would take a lot of errors and maybe a cold shooting night for things to go wrong. They just have that much of an advantage over that team. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Pass to Bamba. Let's it go from deep. And a jam it with the rebound. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Pass to Kisbrook. Here's Gill. And here is Shamit. Gill with a screen on Lowry. Six on the shot clock. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Marvin Bagley's checked in for Rashawn Hall. And the 76ers also making a change. Joel Embiid. He's checked in for Muhammad Bamba. Lowry with the ball. Outside Batum. And there's the pass to Embiid. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Just so nimble for his size. Embiid able to still knock down the shot. Just great coordination. Bagley with a screen on low. Shamit kicks to Bagley. Passes it to Kuzma. Another shot. And finished off by Bagley. And the dogged attitude of Bagley. When shots go up, he wants to be the first to pounce on misses. Here's Melton. Top MB. Over Bagley. Hits the outside fadeaway. Embiid's got four this quarter. Oof, that is a tough shot. Wizards trail by nine. Pass to Bagley. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Knocked loose. Now, here's Lowry. He's guarded closely. And the call will be against Marvin Bagley. And that'll be his third foul so far. And the 76ers with some changes. Kelly Oubre comes in for Nicholas Batum. And Heald subbed in for Kyle Lowry. Now, here's Melton. At the top of the key, and B. Shot clock at six. And B the screen. Healed. Bagley with the rebound. Bagley's got rebound number seven for him tonight. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be a Kisper with it. Guarded by Embiid. Outside Bagley. There's Shamit. And they get it back. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Heel. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Outstanding jumper from Buddy. Wizards trail by 11. Now, here's Shamit. Here's Gill. Pass to Kuzma. Six on the shot clock. Here's Shamit. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Now, here's Melton. He's covered by Shamit. Oubre, no one around him. Off target with his three. And it's Kuzma with the ball for the Wizards. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Philadelphia leading by 11. Here's Heald. Rebound by the Wizards. Bagley's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Inside to end the cold streak. That one's rebounded by Embiid. 
Philadelphia's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. In the corner, it's Melton. Back to Oubre. The pass to Reed. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Embiid, no good. The Wizards have gone 2 of 7 from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Now, Shannon. And it's Kispert in the corner. Let's the three fly. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Philadelphia shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. Oubre, good. In the second half, we've seen him refocus his shooting. Much fewer wasted possessions. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Washington making some changes. Abdiaz checked in for Gill. Poole comes in for Corey Kispert. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Landry Shamit. And then for Philadelphia, Harris has checked in for Reed. And Maxey subbed in for DeAnthony Melt. By now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Guys, I had a chance to find out what Wes Ensel Jr. discussed with his players. Now, Coach really laid into them. He said, we're too loose with it. Tighten it up. These turnovers are going to cost us if we keep giving the ball away. We're better than this. Guys? Thanks so much, David. And another miss by Washington. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Oh, great ball movement there. Wizards trail by 17. And here is Poole. Poole with a screen for Avdia. Back to Poole. To halt the run. And the rejection by Embiid. Oubre outside. Kicks it to Harris. Pass to Maxi. And beat inside. Guarded by Poole. For three, Harris. That's good. And it's Embiid with the assist. Harris has got 11 in the second half. Harris has gotten six of his 10 shots to go in for him. So 60% shooting on the night. Kuzma outside. And it's Bagley in the corner. Here's Avdia. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half. And that's a great way to cut into the lead. Embiid dishes to Oubre. He kicks to Harris. Pass to Maxi. Embiid with a screen on Jones. Set up, set up. Right side Maxi. He can't get that one to fall. Wizards trail by 18. Kuzma passes to Bagley. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. I like the intention, the focus, finding a way to make it work inside. Up top, Embiid. Maxi shoots it. Bagley with the rebound. Bagley's got 11 rebounds in the game. Poole with no one around. And he's good on the three ball. Poole's got 20 points. An unselfish guy who enjoys setting his guys up. Bagley has impressive vision for a big fella. Now here's MB. Over Bagley. And the basket by MB. Embiid's got six here in this quarter. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Washington calls timeout. Wizards trail by 15. Jones with it. Kuzma outside. Outside for Bagley. Here's Poole. 8 for 15 with that made basket. But he's not satisfied yet. Philadelphia leading by 13. 
Heald finds Embiid. Harris looking it over. Knocked away. And stolen by Kuzma. Here's Avdia. Can't get it to fall. Philadelphia's gone three and five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Popped up there for MB. Throws down the alley oop slam. That's a big target for some alley oops. Embiid using that size. Cool with it. Now defended by MB. Tagley, no good. And here's Heald. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia from past the arc. And Maxi gets it to go on the assist by Heald. Maxi's got nine points now in just the second half. Wizards trail by 19. Bagley the screen. For three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the 76ers. Their superior ball handling won it for them. And, and fewer turnovers equals greater scoring opportunities. Any coach will tell you that. If you take care of the ball every possession, and this is a perfect example of what happens when you do. And so now on the year, they'll have 35 wins to their credit. And they've really had a dominant run of games against this opponent this year. They played them three times and won every one. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance, it was a big time outing for Joel Embiid. He limited the opposing offense's impact as well with some superb defense, finding lots of chances to knock away shots. And it's the 76ers with the ball, following the bucket by the Wizards. Now, here's Melton. Defense is right there. Count that one. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. And as it should be, to be this dominant on another team's floor, look, when you go home, you're going to go home feeling good. Pass to Gill. Kicks it to Kispert. Poked away. And it's Covington atop the key. The pass to Melton. Gill against Lowry. Driving the lane. Outside for Batum. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. And they sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, you took over offensively. What went into finding that rhythm? I thought I got the shots that I wanted, and I played into the floor of the offense, and my teammates were finding me, so I just knocked down some shots. Well, they were smart to look for you, man, because you had it going on, man. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. Much appreciated, David. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. And now our New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid.